Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I forgot what I was doing, because... Oh, I was standing behind a rock. So I guess we just go up here. Ah, ah, they're guarding chests. We gotta kill them. Oh, man, really? Okay, well, let's take out the confused guys first. We'll just go along whatever the natural thing of attack is. Because either way, when confused is not good, and dropping our hit points to one isn't good either. Damn it! Look at him laugh! Don't hit frog! Counterattack frog, hit him back. Don't let him do that to you. I don't care if it is me. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Dead stuff, good. We should get some really good, yeah, some nice tech points for that and everything. Let's see what we have coming up for text, by the way. Luminaire. Ultimate damage on all enemies. Okay, that sounds cool. Frog squash. Okay. Not. Dino tail. Huh. It's the same as frog squash. Well, except it involves a dino. And a tail. Frogs don't have tails, do they? Okay. All right. Oh, this isn't gonna be anything. He said right before he died. <laughs> All right. Okay. Come on, a hat trick. Awesome. Free, free points. All right, nice. Uh, we want to use a shelter? I, we probably might as well. We've got a bunch of them. I suppose just for magic points it works out. All right, well, more, wow. I actually expected this to be closer to the end. We get a time hat. Okay, we have to see what that does. Prevent stop and slow. Okay, well, that's good to know, I guess. It would be cooler if, I don't know, it did something else. Like, took you to 1985 where Doc Brown's waiting for you to... Alright, we got a magic tab. Yeah, it took you to 1985 where Doc Brown's waiting for you. Yeah, that works. That works. All right, we're here at the thing. Oh, oh it is where the guru of life remains imprisoned. Switch, look. <laughs> look, there's a giant thing. What? Oh, man, I should have... I was going to equip myself correctly for this, and I did not. So, oops. Crap spackle. All right, charm the head. And couldn't do it. Um... Well, let's do spire on this thing. Ah, uh, we want to we want to kill the hands, without a doubt. Ah, uh, the hands have two thousand hit points. It's worth noting. Yeah, because the hands will you know do that to the arm apparently. So let's do that again. To that hand. And then we'll hit the whole thing with Falcon Hit and see what happens. That's how that'll work. Quit doing that, you jerk. Well, we should probably heal Ayla. We definitely should heal Ayla. See, we should have we should have equipped ourselves 
against shadow and fire. So, um, no. Ugh. All right, fine. Revive her. And, uh, attack the stupid hand. Oh, that's, that's Ayla. Uh, yeah, I rock through the dumb thing. This is what I wanted to, okay. Okay, we got rid of a hand. Awesome. Okay. I mean, it doesn't do all hit points. Did it just take half of her hit points off? Damn it all. Alright. Now you got no hands. Okay. I will do this. This will, this will help a little. Alright. Ah, uh, Volt Bite that thing. That was nice. Look at Frog. You know what? Volt Bite it again. Frog can be our healer, because that's his job. Because we kicked Marl off the party for him. Yeah, this isn't going so bad. He will, he can regenerate the hands, I do know that. Uh, but they don't have the same amount of hit points. The second, yeah, commencing arm restoration. Good job, buddy. Look at that. Fun. Okay, what do we use for those? Uh, no, we use Spire to take them out. We probably don't even need to do that kind of stuff. Because <clears throat> that's going to do like a thousand damage. I mean, it's not... Yeah, see, it took it out right away. Yeah, 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 that's one for you, buddy. I better not make this mistake with future bosses, because it's a dumb mistake. God, Frog, I love you! Here, awesome. Just attack the head and see what happens. See what kind of damage we do in a round. Oh, that's like 700 right there. Oh, wow. Ayla does really well. Um... Okay. Oh, you can't. We can't rock throw the head. That's interesting. Stick that sword right in its forehead. Awesome. That's so cool looking. Commencing arm restoration. Cut it out, buddy. Okay. Restore your arms so I can kill them again. All right, here's one of them. Make that so easy. Oh, come on, really? Whatever, as long as it's not healing the head. I guess I don't really care. All right, heal everybody. Because we deserve it. Because we're your friends. And we never make fun of the fact that you're a frog. I am a frog. All right. Giga Magnate. It's just so, such weird spells. I do like that our hero is equipped so well that he just keeps gaining hit points. That's funny to me. Spire that guy. 
I think we're doing really well. I mean, everybody's alive and healthy and... Ayla's clawing thing, she loves it. She's all primitive and stuff. I do love that's some pretty crazy lightning control there. Okay, now hit the sword with it. There, take that. Just gonna punch you in the face. See? Ha! Then you have to deal with the arms. Now nah, we can't. We can't attack anything anymore. 3,000 experience. 30 tech points? Seriously? We got 100 for beating up rocks. Ulman Melchior! Indeed, I am Melchior. Have we met before? More importantly, can you tell me anything about the Ocean Palace? So, like, this is the guy who fixes, like, he, he's everywhere? Like, he's in every... I see, a queen has degenerated to that degree. The more energy the Mammon Machine absorbs, the further the queen degenerates. Her spirit has been stolen by the infinite, infamous immortal Lavos. We must flee. The seal has been broken. The mountain will collapse. Okay. The mountain of war is about to crumble. <laughs> Mammy mouth could fall. Whoa. Oh, it's not fall. It's like... I like it. Didn't... Oh, it's gonna float away. And then fall. I was hoping it'd go into orbit. That'd be kind of cool. Because visit on a rocket ship in the future. They could reuse graphics from Final Fantasy VIII. Lavo sleeps deep underground while consuming the energy of this planet. If the mammoth machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. We, we must hurry before it's too late. Yelder Shal is here. What? Shal is here? <laughs> Vertical Sandwich has forgotten what voice he did for her. I have. Miss Shal, why have you come to such a miserable place? Stop degrading yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are under Lavos' control. What a filthy havel! <laughs> oh, jeez. Melchior, after the Mountain of Woe fell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? Oh, is it safe for you to leave the palace? That no longer matters. The Ocean Palace is now operational. Then all is lost. But without me, the Mammon Machine won't work. I've turned my back on that evil device. I've kept the Skyway open. Hurry, you must stop my mother. What? Why don't we keep? Why don't we keep it right there? What? Who is this guy? What voice did I give him? Dalton. Tisk tisk, my dear. Your presence is required elsewhere. I will go to that. Dalton, leave her alone. Ah, the geezer speaks. Silence, old man. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Do anything funny and Shayla's dust. Got it? Shayla! The Queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority. Don't they? Stay back. The life of this woman means nothing to me. Shall we get going? Shall it? Yeah, your mother awaits. I didn't beat up tough. Alright. 
Uh, I suppose uh, we'll continue this when we come back. You guys take care, and uh, bye, everybody.